Less than a quarter of the construction industry is women. And now on International Women's Day, we're talking about the movement to encourage more young girls to learn about career opportunities. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir talked to a student hoping to change the stigma around women in construction. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. Yeah, I got the chance to meet up with her, and she's so inspiring because she never even had a background in construction. And one day said, let me just try this, and she fell in love with it. And so this week for Women in Construction Week here in the Commonwealth, it's a chance to highlight opportunities and the work women are doing in the industry. So Daphne Swavely is a junior at Liberty University who also participates in CTE courses by the Virginia Technical Institute. She wants to help other girls realize there is a place for everyone to work and grow in construction. The trades are in need of people and are in need of women and we balance each other out in that. Daphne is taking carpentry courses at VTI along with majoring in linguistics and project management at Liberty University. She said she was nervous when she first started taking courses in construction. I thought that I had to be a tough cookie coming in because I thought I was going to be, you know, like I had to hold my own in one of these classes that was male dominated and I didn't want to be looked down on. But she wasn't. Daphne said everyone was extremely welcoming and respectful. We were all learning. We were all students, and I never had a moment where I was like, oh, like, I'm not a part of the group. At VTI, she said her instructors were helpful and hands-on. And we just learned from foundations to roof systems and just everything in between from rough carpentry to finished carpentry. She even had a chance to build a one-room shed that has a full floor system. And they're putting the finished carpentry in that right now, which was like a full like start to finish project of everything that we've learned so far. David Sage, the executive director at Virginia Technical Institute, says that right now only about 5% of their students are women. So there's definitely a need for women in construction. You know, construction trades has a huge vacuum of employees and they need more uh, employees to fill those roles. David says every industry in the trades field is desperate for workers. He said the average age for a tradesperson is 58 years old. So right now the need is great, but in seven years from now the need is going to be desperate. Daphne says taking these classes and exploring new interests have taught her so much about herself. Coming into a world like this where I knew nothing about it and being able to catch on and really adapt and learn well was astonishing to me that I was able to do that. So and Daphne is getting ready to compete in the Skills USA state competition for carpentry. This is happening in April at Virginia Beach. Her team gets blueprints and instructions on what to build, and they only have a certain amount of time to put everything together in hopes of bringing back that state championship here. So we wish them all the best of luck. If you want more information, it'll be on our website. Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you.